I think having a verticalized approach is a real strength uh, for our business. So many of the, the platforms and the solutions are built uh, to work across verticals, whether it's cars or chocolate bars, flights and all sorts. And, um, you know, they were really well in the media space. But what we really believe in for travel, having been in travel for 17 years, is that we bring the best of the technology sector, the platforms and the data, and really make it relevant to our industry. So you look at travel, when you're actually talking airlines, you're talking hotels, you're talking car, cruise, destinations, attractions. It's actually a really massive vertical and it's deserving of its own uh, specialist approach. So what we bring to it is a technology layer that is built around the specific requirements, KPIs, goal rates, creative types and audiences that our customers need to reach. But more importantly, from Sojourn's perspective, we bring a verticalized data point of view. So we partner with um, data partnerships all over the world, from online travel agencies, meta search companies, the airlines, the hotel chains, to really build a deep, um, long-standing understanding of what travelers do through their path to purchase, their actual buying habits, and then their post-buying, like what happens between the purchase and the arrival. So all of that knowledge and intelligence about travel teamed with a specialist proprietary uh, tech stack that's built on top of the DSPs and the SSPs and various really allows us to help our travel advertisers make the most um, of the ad tech, martech scene. Curation is obviously the, the word of the day, it seems. It's, a, it's on everyone's tongue. Uh, we've been really active in curation for about 18 months, 24 months now. And what we're really bringing to the table is the ability to layer our data into the inventory space, which is really new and unique for us. We've been working in porting our data into the DSP side, which is kind of fraught with difficulty, right? You need to data match. You need to have all of the identifiers linked. You really need to do a lot of work. Um, and it's hard to decentralize that. It's hard for us to give our data into the DSP of a third party for data use rights, privacy protection and others. What curation is allowing us to do is build really interesting bespoke audiences, connect those with inventory on the sell side where there's much better match rates. Those match rates allow us to build much more scale. That scale gives us much better performance. And then pass those audiences across as a PMP to our agency or our advertising partners. And that's really seen massive growth for us this year. Um, we're doing a ton of work bespoke. So whether an airline wants point to point, origin A to destination B, we can uniquely curate an inventory set around people planning that point to point travel. Or if you're looking for a persona, the luxury traveler, the family traveler, the business traveler, we've got a ton of data sets that allow us to combine that. Or even just overlaying intelligence into inventory selection. Where are travelers spending their time in websites? How can we aggregate inventory that is just intelligence based on part of the purchase? So really the curation scene um, is allowing us to do a load of really exciting, iterative audience um, opportunities for our clients. And we're seeing a ton of really strong performance as well. Yeah, so AI is a big piece. So when we talk about curation again, we need to build a ton of audiences. At the moment, we're building up to 100 bespoke audiences a week for our curation clients. That requires AI. Like that is a huge staff investment if we were to do that every time. So using AI allows us to move really fast and be really efficient in the creation of bespoke audiences for our partners. So efficiency is a big piece, allows us to do a lot more with the same staff set we have today, uh, but then also performance. So we're able to overlay our models to constantly be iterating around an outcome, making sure we're not just selecting inventory and audience, but we're optimizing that against the goal and the goal rate. And we can be really deliberate about um, honing that audience. And that's only really possible with AI because it has to read so much data.